This is the Adidas Ultra Boost 20. I actually did an on feet and unboxing of the sneaker earlier on. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I will put the link down below. However, this vlog isn't a follow up to this particular sneaker. I actually have with me three new Adidas Ultra Boost 20s from their collaboration with the International Space Station. So for today's video, we're going to unbox all three sneakers, check them out, take a look at the design, the story, and it might as well be like a follow-up. I just said that I won't do a follow-up, but I have been wearing this for a while now, so I can check back with you guys on how the Adidas Ultra Boost 20 feels after a few days of wear. Let's go! If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Why? Because we're giving away a Yeezy 500 stone and we are drawing the winner on December 15. Apart from that, we have a few other giveaways. So all the details can be found in the description box. So subscribe now, follow me on IG, join our Facebook community, and then click the links down below so you can be part of our giveaway. Good luck. Let's kick things off with this very small Adidas Ultra Boost 20. This is actually something that I got for my lovely wife, Michelle. So we were shopping for Adidas, Adidas Ultra Boost 20s and I couldn't pass the opportunity to get her also a pair. So this one sells for 9,500, slightly more expensive than the 9,300 price point of the Ultra Boost 19. And it also comes in your typical Ultra Boost box, not the yellow and purple version anymore, but the sleek black a box that you get over here that opens from the top in the middle and this is the colorway that the wife actually picked up for herself so as you can see it still has that prime knit white upper together with the carbon a carbon with the fiber plugs over here i know i forgot what it's called it's the fiber stitching let's just call it the fiber stitching along the sides edges of the shoe for additional reinforcement and structure you have that really nice color along the cage over here which is some sort of like gradient uh, color which matches the 3D heel cage that you see here along the back of the sneaker. You have this nice pop of orange at the back, you have the pad and tongue, and what really shows that it is a collaboration sneaker is the logo of the Nash ISS National Lab, Adidas Boost in Space, written at the tongue over here. The other sneaker actually just shows the Adidas logo, so this is the main area where you have the branding of the ISS. Now I asked my wife after she broke it in for a day, we, she actually wore it when we dropped by Secret Fresh. We, uh, we, by the way, quick story, we met the SEA Games gold medalists for Mobile Legends. So of course I'm talking about Team Seabold because they were over at Secret Fresh to meet DJ Big Boy Cheng. And they were all decked out in Yeezy's head, like all of them were wearing either the Yeezy 700 OG Wave Runner or they were wearing the Pharrell Williams NMDs. Anyway, just a funny story. I'll probably put like a segment of me talking to them at the very end of the vlog. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you watch until the very end. But anyway, my wife said that she found it to be very comfortable and that she actually prefers it over her other Ultra Boosts, which include the Ultra Boost 4.0 and the Ultra Boost 19. Now, of course, I couldn't, you know, not get one for myself. So I ended up buying the different color of that one, a different colorway of the Ultra Boost 20 collaboration with ISS. This one again sells for 9,500, and it is a black clean version of the sneaker that I showed you guys earlier. So again, you have the prime knit, you have the fiber edge over here, you have the ISS national logo at the tongue, upper is black, you have that cool, I don't know what you call it, uh, color over here, that gradient color along the cage, which is also mimicked here in the heel cage, that pop of orange at the back, the padded heel, uh, and yeah, it's just a really nice looking clean Ultra Boost 20. So this is actually the first collaboration Ultra Boost 20 that I'm adding to my collection. I haven't worn it yet, so it's actually still dead stock. That's the reason why you're not seeing any on-feet footage of this particular sneaker. I am reserving it for uh, a workout that I'm planning with the wife uh, when we jack when we go back to carry sports in a few days from now. So anyway, so watch out also for my performance review of the Ultra Boost 20. Maybe it'll drop next week. But hey, as seeing as we are Ultra Boost addicts, we have another Ultra Boost 20. <laughs> wow, addict talaga no. Apat ang binili, apat. Uh, we have another Ultra Boost 20 to add to the collection and this one is the colorway that I've had my eye on ever since I saw the news of the Ultra Boost 20. In fact, 
when it first leaked online, I was so giddy because when I saw the color, it was just so striking, so different that I wanted to add it to the collection. So again, Ultra Boost 20. Again, it's also part of the ISS collections. But bam, take a look at that Boost midsole. It is just insane. I mean, I love the how the light bounces off it. I mean, wow, it's so cool. So anyway, let me go over it. So the upper is dominantly black. You have that same prime knit material and then that same fiber edge over here along the edges of the sneaker. The same ISS logo here at the top. Uh, instead of like matching colors for the heel stripes as well as the cage over here, the cage and the heel, uh, they actually made it all black for the entire upper, including uh, the heel counter over here. What the pop, you get the pop really from this really cool looking boost. I mean, guys, take a look at that. That is metallic, that is futuristic, it's kind of hipster, and it's kind of just way out there. I mean, it's just super crazy, and I'm really digging it. So I kind of like this one, and I'm very happy to actually have this particular sneaker in my collection. So I actually wore this when we dropped by Secret Fresh. So my wife was wearing the white version, the one that I just unboxed earlier, and I was wearing this one. It's just also the same time that we met the Mobile Legends Seabull team. Uh, and I can tell you, after wearing an Ultra Boost 20 for the last few days, uh, the difference versus the 19 is actually noticeable, but on the upper. I think I already mentioned that during my review, but I just want to reinforce it because after wearing it for a couple of days, it, it, it just feels more apparent. So unlike the 19 wherein the entire upper was flexible because there was no reinforcement along the edges, you get better foot containment on this one. So your feet feel more stable, more a little bit more locked in, but not super snug, especially if you get it at the right size. I also got a lot of people asking about the shoe. I think it's the way the, la the light bounced off the midsole. It's just so unique and so different that it still kind of can turn heads despite the upper being all black. But anyway, I'm really happy with the sneaker. Uh, two thumbs up for Adidas. Super loving it. Guys, check it out. The ISS collaboration of the Adidas Ultra Boost 20. You can find it in Adidas stores. By the way, to those who are asking why it is a collaboration with the International Space Station, uh, they, Adidas is actually sending Boost uh, over to space so that they can test it in the conditions of space. That's pretty sick and that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> so it's not just a branding collaboration. There is something that they're actually working on together to be able to maybe improve the quality of the boost and the cushioning in zero gravity. Uh, I mean, I mean I, I'm just excited to see whatever comes out of that partnership. Alongside the Adidas Ultra Boost 20, we also saw several new sneakers sporting almost the same look. So we actually saw an Adidas Alpha Boost with the gray upper with that same boost midsole that I showed you earlier with the Boost 20, which looked ridiculously sick. I mean, but the only issue is the gray upper. It kind of looked dull. If they changed the, the upper to, uh, to either white or black, that would have been so much sicker. We also saw like, uh, I think it was like a solar boost or a pulse boost, but there are several sneakers that are more affordable or budget friendly uh, that can give you that look uh, without it being as pricey as the Ultra Boost 20. Just drop by an Adidas store so you can see what I'm talking about. Lastly, Adidas Philippines actually sent this over. They have the Adidas Ultra Boost 20 Space Race Manila. So all you have to do is to run your city with the District Race app. It will reveal to you like hidden areas that you should race. It's like actually really cool. So it's some, it's some sort of like digital race. So once your race started, collect the checkpoints. This will reveal the next checkpoint. Run there before time runs out get back to the finish checkpoint and then you have like a leaderboard so this is a pretty sick execution so i will put like the link or the details in the description box should you want to participate in this particular event now to end our vlog i just want to share with you some clips of me talking with the seabold which is the mobile legends national team esports team that we have here in the philippines i was asking them about their sneakers why it's important for them how they got into sneakers so if you are curious give them a listen and with that said guys i hope you enjoyed your vlog for today peace god bless what's up boom So guys, we're here with Team Seabol, nanalo ng gold sa SEA Games. So kung ay naman kayong tatlo dyan, oh, no you know. Baka pwede pakilala muna kayo sa isa-isa. So bro, bro, ikaw, pangalan. Uh, ako si Ribo. Okay, and? Uh, Kenneth Villa po, uh, IGN Kenji. Okay, and? Ito si Kuya Shy Guy. <laughs> okay, so Gabe, napansin ko kasi grabe mga sapatos din yun eh. So siguro yung una question, paano ba kayo napunta sa hilig ng sapatos din apart from gaming? So kahit sino na lang pwede sumagot. Yung... <laughs> Oh. Um, 
ano lang eh, parang nakita ko oh, sa mga tropa. Ako okay. nung una nung nagkapera, parang nainggit ako sa mga kakilala ko na bumibili ng sapatos. Para, tapos parang ginaya ko na lang din na bumili ng bumili. Tapos yun na, parang nakahilig ako na din po. Tapos natuloy-tuloy na? Natuloy-tuloy. Hey, Ikaw, Pard? Uh, ganun din po. Uh, parang nakikita mo na nagsusot sila ng uh, magandang sapatos. Tapos dati, dahil wala pa. Mm. Mas ngayon na meron na, nakakabili na. Medyo nanalo na, nanalo na po sa mga tournaments. So, sa mga tournaments. Uh, Ikaw bro, ganun din. <laughs> oh, ang napansin ko, karamihan ng mga gamers, mahilig sa Yeezy. Mm. More than Jordans, lalo yung mga uh, Jordan. Bakit? An mer meron bang preference? Or an ano yung bakit Yeezy yung binibili ninyo? Uh, kasi ano eh, parang madaling i-partner sa mga siyosotin. Uh. Tapos, kaya bumili ka ng mga pantalon. Like Adidas. Siyempre Adidas din yung mga Yeezy. Kaya parang maganda lang tingnan. Nakakatulong ba ang magandang sapato sa paglaro o hindi naman? Hindi naman mo. Parang nakaka-motivate lang. Nakaka-motivate, nakaka-motivate. Minsan po may mga nakakapansin na all Yeezy. Pero daw po, pag ML player ka, Yeezy yung sapatos. Ganun dapat, ganun dapat. Eh kung pipili kayo ako sigari, ano yung pinaka-sapatos na gusto nyo makuha na wala pa kayo? Alin yun? Ah, siguro, ano po. Easy din na uh, yung mga wala pa. Yung mga nauna. Okay. Yung mga V1. Okay. Mga ganon. Ikaw, Pards? Ah, uh, yun din po yung mga V1 na easy. So, talaga easy talaga, no? Congrats, congrats. Ano susunod sa inyo? Ano susunod yung laban? Uh, nationals. nationals Balik ulit sa National. So, mag-iwalay-iwalay muna kayo? Ganun ba yun? Mag-aaway po muna. Mag-aaway muna kayo ulit? Good. Ganun pala talaga, no? Tapos magsasama-sama na lang ulit. Ganun ba yun? Avengers, oh, congratulations guys. Make sure may may mga Instagram ba kayo o ano? Uh, wala po. Facebook, Facebook na lang. Ano gusto niyo? Ano pa plug kong Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. Oh, plug niyo na lang Facebook niyo. Ikaw go. Uh, add niyo na lang ako si Jay Rivo. Uh, like niyo yung page ko po, uh, Kenji. Tapos ikaw parts, may Facebook ka? Pa-like din po page ko, ano, Haste Capital Collab. Boom. Oh, 